Hello everybody. Today I want to do the gratitude tag. I noticed that there are a lot of other tags on YouTube, but this one is especially important to me because I really believe in the power of being grateful and having gratitude for all the things in your life. I think it's very easy for us to lose sight of that. So once I saw this, I actually looked for one and I was thinking I've never seen one and I Googled it and there's a lot on YouTube. So I want to join in and today I want to um, kind of just push that agenda of being grateful. All right, let's jump right into it. First question. What is different today than it was a year ago that I'm thankful for? Um, well, one thing that's really important to me uh, is me and my husband are in a better place in our relationship. Um, our communication is better. Um, the, just we're relating better to each other. We're also in a better financial situation where things aren't as hard as they were. Um, and uh, my boys are bigger. I'm really grateful for that. I'm, I'm, I'm here another year to see them, so um, that's what I would say. Question number two. If you stop and think about it, what is one thing you typically can't stand, but now find, oh, now find some way to be thankful for it? <laughs> I typically can't stand really selfish and um, self-centered people. Um, that drives me nuts. People who only view things from their point of view, um, it's all about them. That really bothers me because I wasn't raised that way. I, it, it drives me nuts, uh, but if I had to be make it positive, I would say when you have people like that in your life or you come encounter with people like that in your life, one thing I've always tried to do was to say, okay, <laughs> use them as a standard. Okay, don't be like that. You know, if it's if it's something negative in a person that you see, you can always turn that into a positive and say, okay, well, I need to be better. I need to be more um, aware of other people. I need to be more loving and people-centered and not just me, me, me. So I, I feel like it gives you um, time to reflect and look at yourself and say, okay, how can I use that person and how can I make myself better? So I would say people like that, that normally bother me, um, making it better is like, hey, it's a tool for me to change and become better and not be that way. Okay, question number three. What material possession are you most thankful for and why? Ooh, um, material possession. I say my home. I'm very grateful to have a house, to have a place to lay my head. That's the most important thing. I mean, somewhere for my kids to be, to play, my family to gather, my friends to gather. Um, it's something I worked really hard for. You know, we didn't really have a lot of um, stability growing up. So as far as like our houses, you know, it, it was tough. I'm very grateful for my house and the ability, you know, that I can work on it and change it and do all that type of stuff. So that's something I'm grateful for. I feel like it's like a hub, you know? Um, okay, question number four. Think of four people who have made a huge impact on your life this past year. Briefly thank them personally. Oh God, this is really good. Four people. Um, ooh, number one would I would say my husband. John has been really good to me this past year. Um, so I would thank you, John, for being a good husband, for being a good father, for taking care of me and the kids. I'm really thankful that you are a really good friend to me when I needed it, I'm gonna cry. Um, allowing me to do certain things and vacation and live, do this YouTube by this camera. <laughs> He's been, you've been very sweet to me and I'm appreciative. Um, to God for putting you in my life and you being my partner. And I love you very, very much. Number two would be my sister, Leia. Leia's been a really good friend. You know, I'm really close to my sister, so. Leia, you've been really good and I appreciate you being a really good, um, a big sister and giving me the advice that you have and making sure I always 
have fun and enjoy myself and um, not take everything so seriously. Um, I just appreciate you being you and as like how you live your life and how open you are. I feel like it pushes me to be better and to be more transparent. <sighs> Love you, Leia. <laughs> Number three would be Sean. Um, Krishan. I, I'm thankful for you being my bigger sister. I'm thankful for you encouraging me to be myself and um, even like with this YouTube stuff and all that. I'm thankful that you really been there for me and to kind of um, encourage me to push me along the way even when I felt like giving up. I'm also thankful that you live around the corner and you help me with my kids all the time and um, you're trying to help me be a better mom. So that to me, you know, is incredible, especially I know I have those times where I want to break down, but I'm really thankful that I have a big sister to lean on when I get frustrated and um, just to, you know, if I have questions and things like that. So I love you. And number four would be a joint thing. I am very thankful for my parents. And now that I'm 30 and I have two kids and I'm married and I have a house and I have this life, I really appreciate what they have done and what they did for us and things I didn't understand then, I appreciate now. Mom's not here anymore, so she's, she's in heaven, but I appreciate what, um, just a great mother she was and how much she loved me and taught me about love. And now I see myself doing that now for my children. Um, and I really do hope to be, cause I know, whew, I'm crying. I hope to be as good as you were. And dad, you are, um, uh, ooh. And to my father, I think you are incredible. And the things I watch you do and go through and you still stand and you still love and um, going through physical ailments and emotional ailments, I appreciate you being just that role model to keep the faith and to continue and to push on and to trust God and I love you for that because it's something that I can say, hey, that's something good I'm gonna pattern my life after. And I'm glad I have a good role model. And I don't always tell you often, but um, I do love you and I really do think you are incredible and I really do thank God that I have you as my dad. Um, and I really do appreciate that you get me. So uh, that those are the people that I would say have made a big change this last year with me um, and have really helped me grow. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> um, oh, that's it, it's only four questions. So those are the people and those are the situations I'm personally thankful for. So I would encourage you to um, Maybe go out and tell people, you know, how you feel about them and kind of spread this gratitude. Okay, I would like to tag Krishan's expression. So that's my sister. So Sean, you're next. Um, Black and Natural in Israel. A new YouTuber I just met. Kanisa Cade. And Day to Day Davis. So you guys are up next. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.